Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're doing a very wonderful. So today I have something exciting. I have two Morphe palettes, brand new limited edition, part of their 2024 holiday line. This one is Party Crasher. This one is Crowd Pleaser. I'm going to get into both of these palettes. I'm going to open them up. I'm going to show them to you. I'm going to swatch them and I'm going to do four different eye looks, two with this one and two with this one. But before I get into everything, my name is Carrie. Please consider subscribing to my channel if you like my content give this video a thumbs up i'd really appreciate it and to my current subscribers you guys are just absolutely amazing i have the best subscribers thank you very much for your support i really appreciate it all right so both palettes 12 dollars Okay, this is the packaging. It is a cardboard magnetic packaging, no mirror, but they do have six shades um, in each palette. And I think that they are just absolutely stunning. They are so, so beautiful. Let me show these to you up close. So this one is Party Crasher. Nice, cool tone little palette right there. And yes, I already swatched and played with this one. I couldn't help myself. And then that one is Crowd Pleaser. No mirror, as you guys can see, but nonetheless, I almost would mind rather to pay a cheaper price um, for a palette without the fancy packaging. And I do love the magnetic cardboard packaging because you can just fold the flat back like this and make it a little bit more, ah! make it a little more compact and easy to hold as I did not demonstrate just now. But anyways, we're moving on. <laughs> Thank goodness my product is still intact. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to get into this eye or this palette first. Um, but before I do, let me finish the rest of my face. As you can see, my face is already prepped. I do have foundation, um, concealer, my brows, and I do have a little bit of bronzer on. But let's go in with some blush. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Trio, Blush Trio. This is in Pool Party. And I think I want to, oop, am I blinding you? I think I want to go into this one right here. Do you have a name? Blank? No, that's the, that's the name. <laughs> that's the name. It's All right, like so let's just get a brush. Let's just put a little color into my face here. And then we can get on to the eye looks. Because this um, uh, Party Crasher uh, palette is a little bit more cool toned, I think I may want to get a little vampy with it. Okay, I don't like that blush very much, but maybe it's because I don't have my eyes done. All right, so let's let's brighten it just a little bit. Let me, I'm just gonna dig into all of them. These, these two over here, that's in that palette. Let's get a little pink. I feel like I'm getting a little bit of a gray hue, which means that it is not a good undertone for my skin. All right, let's move on to the eyes. Let me swatch this palette for you real quick. In fact, I already did it. I cheated. All right. I already did it ahead of time, but here are the swatches. I'm going to come in. So here they are in just a little bit of a different lighting. I do think that it's really, really pretty. They did swatch really nicely. You know, um, Morphe has this type of um, formula in their rich and foiled palettes, and I absolutely love those palettes. Talk to you guys while I put makeup on. Um, I'm gonna go into, go into no RSVP. Um, this formula is in their rich and foiled palettes and I have all three of that, those palettes in that line and they are absolutely amazing. So I'm hoping that this formula in these palettes are going to be the same and good quality. All right. So I'm taking a rougher 16. I, at least I think this is a rougher six. No, it's a rougher 15. And I'm just going to put that in the crease. I'm going to blend it upwards. That is a gorgeous, like pinky kind of mauve color. Y'all know I like them pinky mauve colors. My favorite. Wow, really beautiful. And it blended really, really nicely. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to go with the Refer 15 Mini. Let's, mm, let's go into. 
to this one. This one's called Funds Over. Um, I, okay, you guys, there are other, there is another palette, an 18 pan palette. I'll put it right here. And there is some other holiday items um, coming out for 2024. I'll put them right here so you can see real quick. But you can go on Morphe's website. I'm going to just start that on the outer V and the outer corner of the eye and bring that shade um, into my crease. Um, but you can go on Morphe's website and you can, they got like a little video, like a marketing video, um, you know, showcasing their 2024 holiday line. Now, you guys, I'm going to warn you before you go and watch that video, and I would encourage you to watch the video, that marketing video on Morphe's website. It is to me obnoxious. It's childish. It's immature. Uh, it's tacky. I, I, I think it's in very poor taste. And let me tell you why. Because you have all these people around this beautiful makeup. They're obviously in a very luxurious setting. I mean, there is like food and like fancy decorations. And these people are acting rude, disrespectful to each other, snotty to each other. I mean, it is just so off-putting, so negative. Um, I just don't like it. It's very, very childish. I don't know what Morphe was doing. I don't know if they think that that type of, of behavior is funny. I don't know who they're trying to market to with, oh, that is so beautiful. Um, with that type of marketing, I mean, is this just the state of our society now that we're just entitled to act how we want to in front of all this stuff that we have, luxurious stuff, and not be thankful and to physically show that, visibly show that? I just think it's just awful. It's awful to teach people to act that way or to think that they could act that way. If it was me, I would, I would have these people being so happy that they were around all this beautiful makeup, around all this beautiful food that looks delicious and all these beautiful decor. Like I would be thrilled to be around that. Why couldn't they put a positive spin on it? Anyways, watch it and, and let me know what you think. If you agree with me, you know, am I being too harsh? Man, that is blending so beautifully. Anyways, I'm just disappointed in the marketing. They're the, it's supposed to be called like holiday drama, but you know, come on, we, we, enough is enough with, with that kind of bratty, snotty behavior. No, it's not acceptable. That's not acceptable behavior. All right. I'm just going to blend. Let's put a little bit of that, whatever I have left over of that pink color, no RSVP on the lid there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this shade right here. This one is called, okay, I'm blinded by my light ring. So hold on one second, Un, uninvited. And I'm going to highlight the brow bone real gently because I have a feeling that shade is pigmented. Yes, it is. Nice though. These shades are blending really beautifully. Let's put a little bit of that in that inner corner, brighten up that inner corner, bring it up like right here. Wow. You guys, as a matte look, that's stunning. That's really beautiful. And everything blended out really, really nicely. All right, but we can't stop there. I got to get into this metallic right here. I think it's called Icy Glare. Yeah, Icy Glare, all right. These people were giving each other the stank eye the whole time in that marketing video. Anyways, I'm not going to talk about it anymore because it just makes me mad. This shade right here is a metallic. This one is a shimmer. They say you can use these wet or dry. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna use some glitter glue. I'm gonna use BH Cosmetics um, Base Booster. It's just a glitter glue. You guys, you can use whatever glitter glue you want to. It does not have to be this kind of, or the same kind of glitter glue that I'm using. Putting that on my lid right here, you guys. Right on the lid. Mine you have to order online. And plus it's been out of stock. So, um, so don't bother. I, I don't even think I can link it. Okay, I'm gonna go into this shade right here. I'm gonna use a brush. I'm using a flat shader brush. It's a Refer 02. I'm going into this metallic shade right here and I'm gonna put that on the lid here. Um, okay. All right. Yeah, pretty hard pressed in there, but it is going on the eye real nicely. 
I wonder if dry would be better, but they say you can use it wet. Still really, really, really pretty. I am digging this color story, you guys. It's really, really nice. Okay, so now what I wanna do is I want to go in to this shade right here. It's called Chaotic Energy. Yeah, that's real soft and, and it's gonna be sparkly. And I'm gonna just put that on top of this and I'm probably gonna put it in the inner corner. I'm gonna bring it up into the crease, up into the transition area. Let's get some sparkle. Ooh, oh, that is so gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit more. Let's do a little bit more out here. Let's add a little bit more up in the top here. Let's see those sparkles in that transition. Oh, you guys, that is so, so pretty. Let's get a little bit in the inner corner. Mm, what a beautiful, stunning shade that is. Ooh. 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 Guys, I'm mesmerized. I'm mesmerized. Sometimes you got to sit back. You got to enjoy your makeup. Enjoy the beauty of it. That's half the fun of it. All right. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tight line. I'm going to use my Pacifica. This is a brown eyeliner and it's in the color Fringe. Pacifica has a, a good, good formula, you guys. I'm going to waterline the tops and the bottoms. This glides so well in my waterline, which is saying a lot because my eyes are so watery, which most people's water lines are watery, but hence the name waterline. But this just works really, really well. Um, the Pacifica. Ooh, that's so pretty. All right. I'm going to go in with the Benefit Fan Fest mascara. I love this mascara. It works. Okay, guys, the mascara's on. Oh, that eye looks so, so beautiful. I really love like just the purples and the pinks and the shimmers and just how every shade just really complements each other. That's, that's a really beautiful eye. I'm sorry, guys. I'm tooting my own horn. I'm tooting my own horn. All right. So now let's move on to the other eye. So let's see, what can I do with this particular eye? All right. I didn't use this shade yet. Let's go into this. This is called Wild Night. I'm going to take a Refer 01 Mini. Do I want to do a halo eye? Yeah, I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt a halo eye on this side. Attempt. I'm going to do a halo eye on this side. Let's see. Let's see if that comes out. Oh, that's very cool. That's very gray. That's very beautiful. Let's just place that shade on and then we can blend. Blend just a little bit right here let's just connect it right there blend just a little i'm going to take that same shade i'm going to go underneath the lower lash line with it but i'm also going to kind of halo that under the the lash <laughs> the lower lash line also from here from here okay very good so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this one right here the uninvited taking a refer 16 and I'm going to put that right above here and up to the brow bone you know what let's put a little bit in that middle area right here okay now Going back into that Wild Night shade, let's start to add a little more. These shades are blending beautifully and they are very soft, uh, but they're really blending nicely. I feel like my blush is graying me out. I don't like that blush. Maybe, did I go too heavy with it? I feel like, oh, I went too heavy with that blush. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, gosh, that's just a beautiful matte eye right there. That's really pretty. This palette, you guys, is nice. Now I'm really excited to get into this one, which I'll do, I'll do in a second. And I'll, of course, I'll show you swatches of that too. But, um, all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, 
You know, I'm not going to put glitter glue or anything in the middle of the eye or wet it. I want to see just how this particular shade right here, the metallic, the one that's called Icy Glare, just goes on kind of dry. So let's see. I'm going to take the Refer 02 and I'm going to put it right here in the middle of the eye. Okay, I'm not getting much. Let me try it. Let me try it with my finger. It's like really hard pressed in there. All right, a little bit better, a little bit better with my finger. I do think that wetting it though is, uh, w wetting it is definitely going to be better. So I'm going to get some more on my brush and I'm going to wet it with the Max Fix Plus, which I just probably put all in my coffee. All right. Oh yeah, much better wet. Yeah. I want, oh, I want something from this eye, but I don't know what I want. Let's, okay, let's darken it. I'm so tempted to go in there with some pink, but I don't want to put pink because I already put pink on that eye. And if I were to put pink on that eye, it's going to look too similar. So let's just go back into this one. Let's just add a little depth to the halo eye just on the ah man that color is so pigmented and i even tapped off okay beautiful though gosh it's really pretty all right so let's take mm, i'm gonna just blend this just a little bit right here underneath so beautiful nonetheless really really pretty okay so now what i want to do i do want to add just a small amount of glitter glue to my inner um corner there because i do want to add some of that sparkly shade come on glitter glue it's hard getting it out i'm going to add a little bit of glitter glue to the inner corner and you know what how about a little glitter glue right up here i'm going to take a real small brush. This is a Refer 13 mini. I'm going to go into this shade right here, the one that is called Chaotic Energy. It's the sh nice shimmer shade. Let's put that in the inner corner. You guys, that is so, that shade is so beautiful. Put a little bit. What was left over? Right there. Can I add a little? I'm going to try. All right. Okay. Anyways. Ooh, that looks so, so beautiful. I tried to add a little bit of that underneath the lower lash line, but it just, it's not, it's not going there. All right. So let's tight line. I'm going to tight line with the same eyeliner and I'm going to use the same mascara. I'm going to, okay guys, both eyes are done. I'm going to go in with lipstick. I'm going to go in with a Fenty Beauty Slip Shine Sheer Shiny Lipstick in Vamps Who Brunch. I want to get this look a little vampy, a little dark in honor of the shirt that I'm wearing. I think it'll tie this look all together. Ooh, this lipstick really took it to the next level, didn't it? It really vamped it up and gave it like a kind of nice, dark, kind of mysterious castle. I don't know, Dracula type castle. <laughs> you know, that that type of castle <laughs> look. But you guys, looks really, really pretty. All right, let me check my lipstick, make sure none of it's on my teeth. Okay, guys, looks really good. I'm going to spray the face. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. This is just a travel size. That's why it's small. They were buy one, get one free at Ulta like a few months ago. So I was like, absolutely, I'm going to buy a bunch. Okay, guys, the setting spray is dry. Let me show you the final look real quick before I move into the other palette.
Okay guys, so these two looks are done with the Party Crasher. I'm gonna take it off and then I'm gonna move into the Crowd Pleaser palette. I'll be right back. Okay guys, it is time to get into the second palette, the Crowd Pleaser palette. Very pretty, warm tone, pinky, coppery colors here. I'm gonna probably go through this video a little bit quicker, but I'm gonna still do two different eye looks. One on this side, one on this side. But let me show you the swatches. I already have them on my arm. I cheated a little bit. <laughs> but let me show you these swatches. Really, really pretty. It seems like this one had a little bit more uh, pigmentation with the mattes. Very beautiful, very warm coppery pinky type shades these mattes i have to be honest they have a little bit more pigmentation than the party crasher palette but let's see proof is in the pudding let's put it on the eyes here all right so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go into oh boy um how about this one right here you're right i'm taking a refer 16 let's start to Put that in the crease and bring it up as a transition. And it's pretty pigmented. Uh, let's see if I can blend this out a little bit. You guys, pretty much everything is the same with my complexion with one exception. I did change my blush. I went in with the Fenty Beauty um, Hot Cheeks uh, Juicy Peach. So I think this one is going to be much better than the blush that I had with the other palette. I did not like that blush. I don't know what happened, but that blush did not look good on me yesterday. Um, anyways, all right, beautiful. That, that blended really, really nice, you guys. Okay, so now let's darken up the crease just a little bit. I'm going to go into Warm Welcome, and I'm going to put that... In the crease, I am taking a refer 12, and it is just a kind of stiff dome brush. I'm just gonna go right here in that crease. And of course, I'll do my lips at the end. Wow, that's really pretty, those two shades together. Let's blend, taking the first refer I was using. Ooh, nice. All right, why don't we take a little bit more of the, what was this one, Warm Welcome, and I'm going to take it underneath the lower lash line. Let's get a little bit more in that outer V area, kind of connect. Wow, really pretty. Gosh, I... Both these palettes, you guys, so far have been great. All right, let's go in with some glitter glue. I'm using BH Cosmetics Tacky Base. You can use whatever glitter glue you want. doesn't have to be what I have. I'm going to put that all over my lid. And then let's put a little bit in the uh, inner corner as well. And now I'm going to go into the right here. It's called 100%. This is more of a metallic shade. The other one is a little bit more, ooh, that's beautiful. The other one's a little bit more sparkly, I have a feeling, if it's, if it's like the other palette anyways, which I have a feeling that it is. Ooh, nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna just take the same finger. I'm not adding any more glitter glue, but I'm going to go into this one right here called Pushover. Yeah, this one's a lot lighter, softer, and it looks like it's got more sparkle. So let's just go put that on top of this. Brighten it up a little bit. Inner corner. Ooh, yeah. Let's get a little bit more. Add some sparkle on the crease area and the transition area. Oh, that's really, really pretty. It's really nice. If you like these pinky type shades, that is a, it's a really nice. Okay. I'm going to keep it that simple. I'm going to go, you know, before I do the um, eyeliner and the mascara, I'm just going to go ahead and go over on this side. So let's see, what can I come up with? You know, you're, you're not going to get a lot of diverse looks. So um, how, how about, 
I'm just gonna go straight in to total empathy. I think that's what it's called. No, to <laughs> total empath. I'm <laughs> taking a rep for 16 and really tap off. They are powdery, but you know, that's typical. All right, what can I do? Gosh, I'm kind of stumped, you guys, with this eye. I'm trying to make it different. Let's go into the crease with it because that is the darkest shade in the palette. So to go into that shade right off the bat, ooh, it's a risk. <laughs> it's risky. All right, let's put that all over the eyelid as well. Not blending this area yet. I'm just kind of placing. All right, now what shade do I want to blend with? Um, oh, I feel like the only blending shade you have is this, and this is already dark enough, but let's, I haven't used this shade yet. It's called Agreed. Let me make, just double check. Yeah, Agreed. <laughs> it's called Agreed. Let's take that, Oh, really tap off, and I'm gonna blend that Total Empath shade out with this. Let's see if my idea, works. All right, I'm going to tap some of it off right here in the crease. All right, now let's gently, I'm going in with the gentlest of gentle, gentle. Take it underneath the lower lash line. I'm going to need a little bit more underneath that lower lash line. Just gonna keep blending, you guys, and just keep diffusing. But I'm st I'm going in real gentle though with it. That shade's really nice. It does have like a real nice kind of coppery undertone to it. I like it. These two shades are mixing really nice together. There we go. I'm gonna just keep it just like that, and then I don't have. A brow bone highlight. Okay, so I'm not gonna have to use one of these two shades here for a brow bone highlight. All right, but now let's go in with the base booster again, the glitter glue. Just gonna add a little bit um, to the eyelid here. Tap gently, because sometimes the glitter glue will pull your um, eyeshadow up. And since I have a pretty hefty base, <laughs> my eyelid. I want to be careful. I'm going to put some in the inner corner as well. I'm going to put a little bit up on my brow bone area. I think I'm just going to skip the metallic altogether and I'm just going to go straight in for that shimmery, uh, the one that's called pushover. And I'm going to just gently stamp all over the eyelid with it. inner corner. Wow, it's really pretty. Really, really pretty. Okay, I got to take a brush, a real small brush. So I'm going to take a Refer 02 Mini and I'm going to take that pushover shade and I'm going to gently do the brow bone. I don't want to put my finger up there because it'll, it's too big for this small little space. I just want a little Yeah, right there. I'm gonna do a little bit more, a little bit more right here in the inner corner. Oh, I got some fallout here. Did I touch my nose? <laughs> Did I touch my nose while I had product on my finger? Let me see if I can clean that up. Hold on one second. Okay, good, crisis averted. I was able to get rid of it. <laughs> Okay, so now, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my Pacifica um, brown eyeliner. This is in fringe, and I'm gonna tight line the tops and the bottoms of both eyes, and then I'm gonna go in with my mascara. What happened to my mascara? There it is, I found it. I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Fan Fest mascara. I'm gonna do that on both eyes. That's what I did with the first palette. So in case you missed that one, like if you were fast forwarding or something, just reminding you. <laughs> All right, here we go. Okay, you guys, the eyes are done, but before I show you the final look, I'm gonna go in with lips. I think I'm gonna line my lips um, with this particular look, and I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty. Uh, this is their Traced Out Lip Liner in 
Thugs Need Blush 2. It is really nice. It's a nice formula. So let's do that real quick. So I'm gonna go in with the LA Girl Lumilicious Lip Gloss, and this one's in Feels. I think it will match this so, so perfectly. Oh yes, absolutely, it'll go perfect. Ooh, these lip glosses are phenomenal. They're really, really good. Okay, you guys, that lip is on, tied the look all together just so beautifully. I mean, this lip gloss, you guys, it's good. All right, one last step. Let's spray the face. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay All Nighter Ultra Matte. It's a small size, um, in case you're wondering why it's so small, it's a travel size. Okay guys, it is time for me to show you the final look. What I'll do is I'll show you this look by itself for a couple seconds. And then what I'll do is I'll do a, a split screen of both of the um, palettes. Okay, you guys, these makeup looks are complete. Let me give you some thoughts on these new Morphe six pan palettes. Put her there. 2024 holiday line. This one is Party Crasher. This one is Crowd Pleaser. I think both palettes are great. For $12, I think you're getting really good quality. Here's the downside. You're not gonna get a lot of diverse looks. As you could see from what I did, um, pretty, yes, absolutely, very pretty. Um, with the four looks that I did, I think they're really, really nice. I think the quality is really good. I think the mattes blended beautifully. I think the shimmers and the metallic in here is really, really nice, but you're not gonna get a lot of choice of what type of eye look you're going to do. Sometimes that can be a good thing. <laughs> Other times that might not be so great um, for some people, but for $12, I think they're totally worth it. And because Morphe is considered a drugstore brand, according to Ulta, um, you can use coupons. And I imagine that these will go on sale pretty quickly, but I, if I had to choose one, if I had to, had to choose one, I would choose this one, a little bit more cooler. It's got those purple tones in there, kind of like those pinks. It's a little bit darker. Um, this particular palette right here, I feel like I do have a lot in my collection already. However, that does not mean that the quality on this one is no good. The quality is really good. So if you prefer a color story like this, then I give the green light. But if you could only choose one because you love both and you really like both color stories, I would choose this one. I, I just think that this purple shade right here, this shimmery one, oh, I think it's so special. I, I think they did a good job with this one. But anyways, those are my two cents on these palettes. But anyways, you guys, comment below. Tell me what you think. Give me your opinion. Give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think about them. Are you going to pick them up? Are you going to pick up any of the other um, items that are part of the holiday line? Um, and then also, don't forget to check out Morphe's... Um, uh, marketing video on their holiday line on Morphe's website. <sighs> It's tech, you guys. It's immature, it's tacky, it's childish. I don't like it. These people are ungrateful. It is not a good look, especially around the holiday time. I don't know what Morphe was doing, but watch that video and come back and tell me if you agree on that. But anyways, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as I did putting on all this makeup. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.